For 350 years, the Royal Society has been promoting excellence in science. One of the key aims of the Society has always been the commercial exploitation of innovative science. Currently, the Society supports researchers with a wide range of programmes, the foremost of which is the Brian Mercer Award for Innovation. It's been one year since we got the Brian Mercer Award for Innovation of the Royal Society and it's been an exciting new year. We have significantly improved our technology. I'm really looking forward to having a product on the market and that is a completely new experience for me. We now have the highest power ever realized with this sort of laser, which is 1,500 times more of what we got last year. So we have now the fastest parcel laser based on carbon nanotubes. We have demonstrated, fully demonstrated the concept, and we are now in talks with different companies to test our system. What is very exciting about what we are doing is that it's not only technological development, but it's basic science as well. So the results we got were published in high profile journals, but at the same time that allows, allowed us to bring our technology closer to market. The Brian Mercer Award for Innovation provides funding for individuals or groups to develop an already proven concept or prototype through to the creation of a near market product for commercial exploitation. Royal Society Brian Mercy Innovation Award made such a huge impact. It enabled us to push forward our spin-off program and we established uh, Nanos Porous Solutions Limited, which is the new company now. Each year the Royal Society also provides a number of Brian Mercer Feasibility Awards. These allow scientists to investigate the technical and economic feasibility of commercialising an aspect of their research. Worth up to £30,000, these awards are funded by the Royal Society, the EPSRC and the ERA Foundation. The role of the research councils is to fund the very best science and engineering in the universities in the UK. But a secondary role, and a very equally important one, is to ensure that the best of that science and engineering gets applied in uh, either industry or in society. And so we have a responsibility to try to get those really good ideas out into industry. And that often requires a little bit of extra funding in order to test the feasibility and develop the feasibility of those, those ideas. And by jointly funding with the Royal Society in these Mercer Feasibility Awards, we're going to enable that to happen. Another important element of the Society's support for the commercialisation of science is its Innovation and Business of Science course, run in collaboration with Imperial College's Business School. What we're looking for here is to engage with them with ideas that they bring um, from their own laboratories, but to give them an appreciation of the different and diverse aspects of what is required to take an idea to market. You will have to ask yourself, Am I changing an industry here? Is this something revolutionary for an industry? We're giving them um, the, the techniques and an understanding of who else would be involved um, from the legal side, the venture capital side, the technology transfer office side, so that they know what questions to ask. This year, research fellows funded by the BBSRC will also take part in the course. The big idea about this course is you can do it. I mean, if you have your idea and you really want to go for it, you can do your own spin out company and go for it. In 2008, the Royal Society launched its Enterprise Fund. It's an exciting new initiative created to make equity investments in early stage businesses emerging from the science base. The Royal Society has enormous competitive advantage. It has an unrivaled network of scientific and technical expertise. I think the unique benefit the Royal Society can bring is timescale. We're not fixed to a particular timescale. We can afford to invest for the long term. Moving from research to a commercial, commercial is quite difficult. You've got to get the management, you've got to get the money, you've got to get a good market plan, you've got to be commercial, which is not what academics are normally used to being. 
I think it's very important for the Enterprise Fund to be a commercial fund and not a grant giving body of the Royal Society because unless they can make money then they should just stay within the confines of academia. We launched the fund uh, this time last year. We had a fantastic uh, initial reaction to the fundraising. Um, as of today we're at about six and a half million pounds in commitments to the Enterprise Fund. Uh, we've got 20 million to raise and we're going to continue raising funds aggressively. So we opened up the fund for investments just before Christmas. Um, we had a fantastic re reaction from the academic community. We expect to make an investment over the next few months, so watch this space. By strengthening support for outstanding scientists, the Royal Society is pushing back the boundaries of science, enabling the UK to remain one of the world's top scientific nations. Thank you.